What's poppin' collective? This is your girl, the spiritual assassin, coming back on the ones and twos to present to you guys today a beautiful poem along with a vision and along with a tarot reading. Um, this is going to be a pick a pal reading for you guys today. But before we get started, I do want to um, offer this poem to you guys. Um, I have a memory problem, so I write everything down because when I was younger, um, I used to get abused, so it's hard for me to remember. Um, so without further ado, I hope you guys enjoy it. And as, as we continue to heal from any traumas and build on new energies so we can tap more into our talents. So bear with me as I read this to you guys. And y'all keep praying for me that I regain the ability to remember, okay? I love you, collective. All right, so this poem is called Orphaned, and it go like this orphaned left behind the streets are cold filled with malice and deceit the ways of the world has been weighed on my shoulders the stench of death lurking in my maze of health they tried to drag me to hell they tried to kill my vibe water down my frequency they tried to assassinate my character the ones who we call our friends turned to be follies demons that was sent to destroy my destiny being poisoned with injustice and competition, they succeeded with killing my the old me, only for me to be reborn through this fire, through the fire. See, they didn't know my true identity, forged by the Holy Spirit, sanctioned by the Creator's grace, initiated by my ancestors. I have manifested the change that I need to be. I am the Phoenix Rising. They pick me to be the light to show the way as I bring honor to my family's name. I am the rose that grew from concrete. Nevermore will I be silenced as I continue to open up and be the most authentic me that I could ever be as I continue to climb up that ladder and be the best version of me. Come by with the queen over here. We are those gods, those goddesses that's going to show you the way to bring peace on earth. We're going to shift this paradigm and drag these demons to hell guys i hope you like that poem and hopefully that anybody that went through anything that similar to my situation hopefully it will bring some type of um understanding light understanding to help you through your pain we're going to turn pain into uh something that's profitable for us something that's going to help us uh uh look at it as a learning lesson and be grateful for the learning lessons guys so without further ado let's tap into the vision so last night i had a vision um it was me an ex-boyfriend of mine's and a very good friend of mine's and the dream was like we was leaving work and we was invited to it was like my friends from Myers Park was throwing a birthday party. So it was like we all three went to this birthday party. So we got to their birthday party. The scene jumped from me asking like different people, oh, where can I go get something to drink? You know, I was wanting to get me a Heineken or whatnot and drink me a Heineken. And I drank me a Heineken. And then the other two, my ex and my friend, they was in a room in a bed. But they wasn't touching each other at the first part of the dream. It was like, oh, we're tired. We don't feel like partying. We just want to rest. I hope it's okay. And I'm like, okay, that's fine. Like, I didn't think anything of it. Like, I was too trusting of these two individuals. So what I'm getting so far from the dream is I trusted two individuals that I really relied on only to be backstabbed behind my back. And they backstabbed me. Okay, so... This let me forward, forward the dream. So as I, you know, went downstairs, I was partying with my classmates from Myers Park. That's the school I went to. This is what I'm picking up in my dream. I'm partying from my, with my classmates from high school. And uh, I said, well, let me go upstairs and go see what's going on. You know what I'm saying? Why they haven't came down yet? So I go upstairs and I see that the female was cuddled and huddled on top of my divine masculine. Um, that I didn't mean to say divine masculine. So it was a divine masculine uh, that was in my dream that decided to go sleep with a friend of mine or betrayed me to go sleep with someone uh, that was in my energy. Right. So 
I got on the bed and I was beating on her and, you know, and I beat him up and, you know, I even spit on her face and told her she was a dis, dis, <laughs> dis, dis, disrespectful. They told me they was going to tell me that they was in a relationship and, um, that they was going to let me know that, that he was going to leave me for her. So he knew that he was going to leave me for her. Now, this is not my situation, guys. This is just a vision I had, okay? But whoever you are, you was pissed off. Like, and I know when I say spitting, that is something nasty, but that's just, you know, you just was pissed off, I guess, you know, that you can't get no worse assault than that. I take that back, but I mean, I don't take that back, but that's just part of the dream. I got to let you guys know what the vision is about. I got 901 on the screen when I said that. So basically what the dream is about is somebody betrayed you, somebody um, cheated on you, slept behind your back, could have been a best friend, could have been a coworker, could have been somebody you was close uh, close with. Um, they chose to leave you for someone, someone else. That's what I'm picking up. And I woke up at my dream after that, and that's why I'm here to deliver the message. Okay, guys? So without further ado, let's tap into these messages. All right, so I have one, two, I have three pals here that you guys can pick from. I have the, um, what is this? What deck is this? I'm sorry. The solutions deck, the situations deck. So one pal is a situation deck. That's pal one. Pal two is my Lenormand deck mixed with my Kepler deck. So that's pal two. And pal three is the tarot deck that I'm going to use um, to see what else energies that I uh, pick up from those from that pile right there and the three readings well the three cards that's crowning the read is be freaky with me in the reverse so somebody is <laughs> don't want to be freaky with somebody in the reverse I also have the lovers card for the second pile in the reverse so the lovers in the reverse uh, we're going to be discussing about that for the second pal. And the th third um, pal in the reverse is the London Bridge. Um, in the reverse, so London Bridge has fallen down. Oh, and then, yeah, I was chanting this song this morning. London Bridge is falling down, falling down, falling down. London Bridge is falling down, all the way down. So I want to let you guys know. When I did some research on London Bridge, did you did you guys know that London Bridge buried children and women alive under the bridge for ritual reasons? So what I'm picking up for that from that particular spread is someone tried to sabotage you using some type of black magic. They possibly had your pictures and rituals, or they tried to use some type of ritual to kill you to get rid of you. But it it did not succeed because with the London Bridge in the reverse, the spell, the ritual has been returned back to sender. So those are my three pals. So let's go ahead and tap into these energies and see what we come up with. London Bridge is falling down, falling down, falling down. London Bridge is falling down, all the way down. All right, so the first pile we're going to discuss is the situational deck. And this is the first um, <laughs> pile right here. And it's called, and the, the card is Be Freaky. What did I say? Be Freaky for me in the reverse. So the, the pre-shuffle messages I have for this one is somebody is in, is in denial. The person that's in denial about a situation, they're, they're searching for you online. So, so somebody is not facing truth and are very irrational or they, they are not looking at the reasons of what happened or not trying to understand what happened or trying to um, make sense of what happened and it, they're not trying to, what I want to say, um, end a situation. So they're stuck in their head and basically is denying that something has ended. Okay, guys? Yeah, and they could be online looking for information on you to try to sabotage you is what I'm picking up. Yeah, this person had cut someone off. So somebody who you was dealing with cut somebody off. Yeah, this person possibly like to dress sexy. So your person could have um, cut off a um, distorted feminine. 
and she is in denial about this cutoff, guys. Yeah, and this person could be searching for you online. Your person could be searching for you online. Yes. Also, this person wanted to do it to you in public, or this person wanted your wanted your masculine to do it with them in public. But your person is playing hard to get. So your person is playing hard to get to this with this karmic energy. He does not want to do it to this person um, in public or have any relations with this person no more. And they are not understanding that this uh, cutoff is final is what I'm picking up. Your person needs to clean his energy from this individual. Your person possibly wants to taste you or that karmic partner that the sort of feminine wants to taste your partner. So let's get clarification. What is be freaky for me in the reverse? Somebody's going through a bunch of emotions right now, guys. Uh, they're coming and going because they don't know how the situation going to play out. They thought they had everything under wraps only to find out that your person is calling in to you. They are having nostalgia feelings over you. And this person is in denial about that. They just can't believe that your person chose to be with somebody else. Yes. This divine masculine wants to taste you and could be in denial that this relationship is over or that person is in denial that your masculine wants to be with you. That's what I'm picking up. Somebody could be going through a lot of anxiety. This karmic energy, who possibly like to wear, wear red shoes, red clothing. This card, somebody has a family with this person. But you're plugged in, collective. There's a court case uh, that is closed here, guys. With a playful child energy here. So this person could be very play, be, is very childish. A grown person that's very childish. Your person could have been going through a bunch of emotions dealing with somebody they had a family with. But they could be plugged in now. Your masculine could actually be plugged in now to understanding what's going on with this connection. This person feel lost. This person saying that they have receipts about a, a situation. They could be quiet in the background. This person could possibly be into role play. But your masculine do not want to get freaky with this person anymore. This drama queen. Your person is on the verge of telling you the truth. Or this karmic, this karmic could be on the verge of telling you the truth. I feel like it's this karmic that wants to spill the beans or something. Because your person would not submit to that person. Damn. This person is getting mixed signals. By this hamster wheel. Somebody who could be a hustler. They are gossiping about this situation. Somebody is gossiping about a financial support. Somebody's gossiping, thinking that you're not going to get some type of support, some type of help from your masculine. But you're synced in. You have synchronicities. You're connected through music, dreams, songs, or visions. Someone would not be having an um, Q&A answer session here. Someone would not get this conversation that they've been hoping and wishing for. Someone um, is not hot for you anymore. I feel like that your person is not hot, hot, hot for this karmic energy anymore. They're rushing, rushing and racing away from this person. 909 on the screen when I said that. Somebody could be um, tapped in with the Egyptians here with the pyramid I'm looking at. Someone would, will not be moving in with this energy, with this karmic energy. Someone is not in love with that karmic energy anymore. But somebody wants you to take initiative, collective. Somebody wants you to show them your wild side, collective. Somebody's going through a divorce collective. Yeah, they had an extreme cutoff collective. If y'all can see this. Someone isn't feeling crushed anymore about a situation. You could have felt crushed at one time. You possibly was feeling sad, broken, feeling, feeling alone. But I feel like that you're unbothered. About this, uh, about this situation. Now, so your masculine is going to be coming into you on a hot runner chaser pursuit. This person has an unconditional love for you, though. But this person was intervening somebody. You cannot save anyone that don't want to save themselves. We are not here to save anyone. 
this could be projected. So this with the projected card being in reverse, this situation is over with too. So this person is not intervening this person anymore. You could be coming across a settlement or your masculine could be coming across a settlement. Your masculine could possibly be coming across a settlement. And he wants to make you his one day. Because he feels that you guys are soulmates. You both of you guys are possibly seeing numbers like 1111, 222, 333, 444. Yeah, you person, you guys have a past life together. You guys have been here plenty of times together. And somebody's in denial about a past life relationship. So let's get to the next screen. I just scratched my nose. Maybe somebody be playing with their nose. I don't know. <laughs> That's what I got, though. Maybe this person snorts coke. Is what I'm picking up. That's one of my omens. My left foot was itching the other day. I feel like that's an omen that somebody may be had, coming across some type of bad luck. So please be careful of the energies you keep around yourself, guys. So let's move to the next energy. The second pile is the Lenormand deck. And it's the London Bridge has fallen down, guys. 1616 is where this starts at. Okay. I need to write that down so I know how to. Put it in my reads, uh, you know, my description, so you guys know which pal to pick from. This is my first pick to pick a pal to, and I like it. It's pretty dope. So let's continue. So with the London Bridge has fallen down, this is letting me know that somebody used some uh, some type of magic, some type of um, uh, ritual on you to bring you down, only to bring their selves down. Is what I'm picking up from this pal. I'm looking at Angel Number Nine Twelve. That may be in significance to you guys. Um, I'm also looking at, um, the tribe of, the tribe of Jewel. It's a lion I'm looking at in front of me. You might want to look up that omen and see what it means to you. And I had, wish I could find it. I had some angel numbers written down for you guys, but I done turned around. Hold up. Is it right here? Yes. So you guys may want to look up angels, angel numbers, um, 716, 717, 777. Uh, 722 and 733 and you also may want to look up the camel spirit uh spiritual totem to see what it means to you guys okay so let's continue and see what's going on with these cases so at the bottom of the deck i do my i do my shuffle some pretty <laughs> different guys so bear with me as i break, work through these um piles okay guys so let's go so i have the hierophant card on the reverse and with the Hereford card on the reverse, that means that a marriage is over, a commitment is over, it is done and over with. 36 breaking down to 9, change is on the way, like something is about to be over with. If it hasn't, um, if it hasn't been fulfilled yet. It's on its way to ending, guys. So if you was wondering if your masculine was about to leave a person or was about to leave a person, yes, they are. Somebody could be a life path number nine as well. You may want to look up angel number 914. There's a message of concern that's going to come in to you about a failed marriage. 14, break it down to five. What I tell y'all, change. Something is going to change. Excuse me, spiritual birch. Something is about to change here. Once you find out that this marriage is no longer existence, that somebody walked away from a marriage, Maybe this could change the whole dynamic of a situation, but let's continue to um, read the bottoms of the decks, okay? The next part I have, guys, is there's a, I feel like this is a karmic energy right here. Maybe a person like to give her flowers. I have to see, a, she's holding a book here, so I feel like that she, she may do some type of spell work or she reads a lot, she researches a lot, but somebody is very, somebody reading about you, somebody studying you is what I'm picking up. She's studying the situation, how to keep your person from moving towards you is what I'm picking up. Because she's trying to still, she's, tr she's still trying to stay in this marriage, in this, in denial. 29 breaking down to 11. So she thinks that she's in a twin flame journey when it's actually not her twin flame is what I'm picking up. This person is not stable at all. This person could be very mental here, guys, with the mountain in the reverse card. And this person could be a life path number eight. 
21 breaking down the three they was in union but this union was very unstable this person is non-traditional this person does not grow and is very is not sturdy at all i got what's that Yeah, I got 29 breaking down to 11. So she most definitely thought it was a twin flame uh, journey. Then I got 8 plus 2 is 10. So it's about to be an end to the situation. That 8 plus 1 is not completely done yet, but it's on its way to being completed. Damn, I like how I broke them numbers down. Damn, it was like several different numbers on that card, but they all mean something, okay, guys? But let's continue with the read. Yeah, but somebody um, is trying, somebody who's very unstable, somebody who's uh, not grounded somebody who who could possibly have mental issues is trying to stay in a relationship that is karmically um is karmically um not healthy for someone they know it's not healthy and they still choose to be in this connection okay guys they, they are in denial and they're trying to keep your person stuck to this connection is what i'm picking up yeah your person married this person guys and they are not Real, they are not wanting to um, move forward with this person, guys. Okay. They are they are not sh uh, swimming to come waters with this person. This person is trying to keep them stuck with the team. Well, I see ten here in a situation that your person no longer no longer see fit. Yeah, this karmic energy right here. He could be he could be dealing with two different females here, guys. Or they, this could be one female that he is um, having trouble with. And this person is expecting something from your person. And I got 29, break it down to 11 again. So this most definitely let me know that this person is really thought that they was in a real twin flame relationship only to find out. You see how naked she is? So <laughs> um, she could be. <laughs> so she really thought this was a twin flame connection, guys. Then I have 28, breaking it down. 10. It's been an ending of a situation. She could be expecting something or somebody else in your guys' energy could be expecting something. So let's go ahead and tap into these energies. Who this girl is delusional. What in the world? He got him a real crazy loony bin. You are smart. You have book knowledge here. You have you have do you do a lot of research. The community know about this, about the situation that's going on, or you know about this community that tried to keep something from you. You are divinely guided with God here. You are uncovering the veil. Yes, because you got the tree of knowledge. This other person don't. So let's get some messages. Yeah, this came out. You got the tree of knowledge. Somebody see you as a gift. Somebody want to gift you roses. This person who got this tree of knowledge. Like somebody used black magic. I seen that whip card. Yeah, somebody is nasty. Somebody lived like a rat. Got spider webs, molded food, leave food out. Just nasty. Possibly got roaches around the house. Rodents around the house. They don't take care of themselves. If they don't take care of themselves, they don't take care of their body. They just nasty. But she got something. She need to be worried about herself. Yeah. This has been an end to a cycle with this person right here. This is cutting away anything that doesn't um, serve you no purpose. Yes. Somebody in the community know about this. This person possibly was going, reading up how to self-sabotage you by using black magic, going into reading different books. Different magic books to try to stop you is what I'm picking up. Yeah, this person was trying to hold on to your person. She's possibly pregnant or trying to say that she's pregnant so she, he don't go anywhere. Yeah, but your person is still leaving regardless if she's pregnant or not. You play fool, you play dumb, and get played like a dummy, dumbass. <laughs> Excuse my language. <laughs> There's a masculine here. That he, yeah, he was giving her roses. I feel like he was in love with her. But he was in a uh, karmic energy, a uh, distorted masculine energy. He decided to get with a toxic, a toxic uh, karmic partner. With the lovers being in the reverse, they possibly have a dog together. But they chose not to end the cycle out 
with the dog being in the reverse with a childhood person. This person could have been a childhood friend of theirs that they wanted to pursue only to get played is what I'm picking up. You could be a life path number eight that I'm talking to, a life path number six who I'm talking to. Change is going to come in this situation with 23 breaking down to five. 43 breaking down to seven. I could be talking to a life path number seven that deals with this path. And I got, yeah, I got two life path number eights here, 26 breaking down to an eight. And I got a life path number nine here too. So this may be your situation, but somebody's ready to swim to calmer waters. Yeah, because somebody found out somebody was be, was being um, very sneaky, um, very mischievous behind their back. Yeah, this person could be a master teacher 33. This person um, has a message of concern coming in about this energy that he never um, divorced from or he, that he's still with. And this is possibly what he want to tell you. But you'll be about this uh, 20 breaking down to two about a couple yeah, he's going to tell you the truth that he never uh, left this person. He he put you in a third-party energy with a, a lackluster, rat-filled, nasty-ass person, karmic energy. He picked a karmic, nasty-ass energy over you. Yes, he did. Yeah, he was trying to juggle you with the um with the 22. You could be a um, master teacher 22. He tried to juggle you. Yeah, this mature woman I'm talking to. But you're going to call... You're going to... Somebody is not getting something wealthy here. And it's 11. What's this? 11. So whoever that was in this false, false twin flame, you would not get something wealth here. Yeah, you was expecting to get something, something wealth. You would not be getting something wealth. Because 28 breaking down to 10, this situation is over. It's kaput. Yeah, I'm talking to you. This karmic energy right here, you would not be getting that. Yeah. 29 breaking to 11. That's a fake twin flame. Yeah. Collective, you're going to be moving into a new house soon, Collective. Yeah, 19, break it down to a 10 because you had the end of a cycle. God is about to bless you with a new house is what I'm picking up. This child it will not be moving into this new house. There's going to be a message about this coming soon. Somebody feel in prison that he stayed with this person. Or I'm picking up on another energy. This person can, be feel, can feel... um. Like they are trapped with this energy. And I have the child card here. So somebody could be in childlike behavior. This person who I was just talking about could act like a big ass kid with mental health issues. Yes. This wealthy man is in a house with this person. But I feel like you're going to get a house too soon. This person is having nostalgia feelings over you. So that's the first. Yeah. London Bridge has fallen down. It's over with. It's time to go a new direction and move on from this, guys. Yes, this person could be a Pisces or a water sign, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, and this person is going through bad health. So stay away from fuck is energies. We're going to move to the next deck, which is the tarot deck now, and what's crowning that pick up how is the lovers in reverse. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Yeah. I'm... Hello. This is hey, I'm good. How are you? Sorry about that, guys. I'm back, and I just took that call. So let's continue with this read. All right. So the lovers in the reverse is here, and um, basically, what the lovers in the reverse is someone who has chosen to walk away from a connection, or this connection was very toxic. It was not ordained by the Most High, guys. So we're going to go ahead and tap into the energies and see what happened with this love affair. Why uh, it has been <laughs> canceled and deleted and what pretty much happened in this connection. So let's go. So at the bottom of the deck is we have the five of pentacles. Someone may be asking, need your help or somebody that's in lackluster mindset here. But it came in the reverse. So I feel like, yeah, it came in the reverse. So somebody... Um, could possibly be asking for your help or needing help to get past a situation. This person is healing now, guys. 
Maybe I feel like somebody was with an Aquarian energy. Um, they was not the star. They wasn't balanced. They was not productive. Uh, they are very arrogant. Um, they use emotions to manipulate people is what I'm picking up. Yeah, somebody um, had got with a childhood friend, family, coworker, whoever it was, and realized that they are not who they say they were. They are not the star. They are very toxic and uh, they drain people emotionally, very pessimistic, very cold hearted type of person. That's why your person had to walk away from this person and may possibly needing your help to heal from this energy, guys, is what I'm picking up. I also have uh, the Knight of Swords here. Somebody could be rigid. Uh, somebody could be pissed off that you left them. I feel like a masculine left a feminine. Yeah, the karmic energies I've been talking about. So your person chooses to, le uh, to leave someone behind in the past. Yeah, and they're pissed off. They left this to a cups energy. Yeah, they was they was tired of feeling getting juggled. But this person is not tr wanting to end this situation. Maybe because. This person has some type of settlement coming in. So this person is choosing to stay in a connection to uh to get to your person's money is what I'm picking up. She is very some she's something else. There's a king of swords in your energy. So your person can be in this king of swords energy now. Gemini Libra Aquarius energy. This person is very strict, like very to the point, coming with some type of truth. Yeah, he was messing with somebody that was very immature. This king of pentacles energy, this uh, female could have been very um, fruitful with her money, but she used it in mischievous and miscalculated ways. She was using this money to keep your person um, uh, uh, stayed to him to make sure that he didn't go anywhere to keep him anchored in. Because he possibly needed some type of financial assistance. So she used this money to keep him weighed down. Yeah, she could be in this Queen of Pentacles energy as well, too. She could be pregnant with his child. Somebody 